One of those teachers is Lori Wagner. She holds a master's degree from Georgetown and is highly regarded. She says it's tough to leave, but the last straw was the county supervisor's vote to give themselves pay raises. You seniors, this is your last chance to be out there, um, make your mark. Lori Wagner teaches English and leadership at McLean High School. She was also the swim coach. She strives to be the best teacher, the best coach, the best mentor, the best educator that she can be. She's just like someone that you know that you can come to if you have a problem. When I interviewed in Fairfax County, I didn't want to come anywhere else, any other school. I loved it here. But that Fairfax County luster has faded. After 11 years here, Wagner and her family are moving. When I look at Arlington, which is closer to where I live, I would be making so much more money there. How much? Um, anywhere between eight to $20,000 more. Wagner makes almost $71,000. At a recent public hearing, she and other teachers blasted Fairfax County supervisors for not fully funding schools and teacher pay raises, but recently voting to increase their own pay from $75,000 to $95,000. By failing to invest and fund your teachers, you're losing good talent in droves. I'm a good educator. You can't afford to lose me, but I can no longer afford to stay here. Data gathered by the Washington Area Boards of Education looked at teacher salaries for fiscal year 2015. It shows Fairfax County teachers with a master's degree and 10 years on the job rank second from the bottom when compared to 10 other school systems in Northern Virginia and Maryland. Fairfax teachers with bachelor's degrees rank fifth in pay. Between daycare costs, housing costs, you know, and all the other things that are just so much more expensive here. I feel a little bit like a hamster on a wheel. I'm spinning and spinning and spinning and going and giving all I have to um, my family and my job, and I'm not getting anywhere. Now, the reason Fairfax teachers have not received significant pay raises in the last seven years since the recession is due to a drastic drop in revenue. Teachers say the county needs to enact a meals tax to pay for raises, but county leaders opposed to that say a lot of residents are suffering with low pay and nobody wants higher taxes. Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.